Sometimes the smallest things can have the biggest impact. Today we are looking at an expansion for the joystick table mounts, the clamp spacer. Over the last few years we made quite a few of the joystick table mounts and they are used in a variety of places all around the world. But with that comes a few unique problems, especially um, how to attach the table mounts to some weirdly shaped tables and desks. Um, sometimes the corner is, is not at a 90 degree angle, sometimes the corner of the front of the desk is round or the table has a, has a lip on the front so we get into some problems with the clamp. Some older desks may have uh, uh, ornaments on the front. Um, a lot of problems can, can happen and well, in the past we didn't really have a solution for them. We uh, only had the clamp at a fixed distance from the profile. I mean, it, it works great on a, on, a, on a really standard desk, but sometimes you just need a little bit more space here and there. And we had a lot of questions about spacers, how to, um, how to get a little bit more space between the profile and the clamp. So now, because we have a 3D printer here, we can now uh, print our own um, spacers, which is really cool. Um, but now we can cheaply make them ourselves at the perfect uh, like dimensions for the clamp so they have a perfect grip to the profile. Okay, long talk, no sense. Let's attach a spacer and see the difference how they mount to the table. Okay, first we have to unscrew the current clamp from the table mount. Here we have our Vera Allen key set, which we also sell on our webshop. Advertisement. So, uh, these four screws um, are actually also part of the setup mechanism for the table mounts. Here you can adjust the clamp in height for your specific table width. Um, so, sometimes you have a really big table or some glass tables are, are really thin. So you can adjust it this way, very easily. It would be easier to take the joystick off, but I, I wanted to show it with the joystick attached. Okay, so here we have the spacer, which actually extends uh, the space between the clamp and the profile for 21 millimeters. Here's our clamp. Let's put that in first. Alrighty. Let's not completely screw them in so we can still adjust it. But you can already see that the, that the space between the profile and the spacer is a bit more, so let's put it on the table. Let's set up the clamp first. It's actually quite a simple process. You, um, we still have the loose, so we can put the clamp right about here, tighten it a bit to the right position, like, well, well almost like that and take it off and tighten the screws. I think that's actually one of the coolest features of our table mounts. So, now we can quickly attach the mount. As you can see, we have a lot more space between the profile and the spacer which can make a big difference 
for some tables. And yeah, a lot of people might can use the table mounts now that couldn't before. Okay, let's show that again. First, the quick release. Take the mount off, put it in a place where it doesn't clutter up your room. And if you want to fly again, take it back out and reattach it to the table. We cannot make the spacer any bigger. That has to do with the positioning between the top plate and the pressure point of the clamp. When we put it behind the end of the top plate, the mount becomes unstable. But at this positioning, it is still 100% stable. So no worries about that. Wasn't that an awkward video? I think so. The little things, ne? big impact. Ne? <coughs> See you again in one of the next videos we make. Little spoiler, angle adjustment for pitch. <laughs>